when I see you dancing, I'm like, hola, 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 hola. With your move fancy, make me wanna hola, 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 hola. I got your attention, spending a hula, 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 hula. I'm a drunk captain, practice hola, hola. What's am welcome back to another video and yes today i'm sharing with you one of my favorite recipes vegetarian chili i always say this and people look at me sideways when i say it's vegetarian but come on man don't knock it till you try it i'm not a full vegetarian um but i do enjoy my meals sometimes be vegetarian vegan paleolithic um, i just like to try different stuff and i like a realm of different flavors foods cultures etc so let's get into the video as you saw in that first clip, I showed you all the ingredients that you need, so if you need to roll it back, you totally can. And don't forget to check the description box below for a list of ingredients. So I started off with mixing up my cornbread. Mind you, if you have some other alternatives that you like to use, you can totally do that. Um, you don't have to use whole milk. Remember, all of this stuff is substitutable, if that's a word, but you know what I mean. Alrighty, next you're gonna chop up all of your vegetables, and you're gonna hear some clips of me and my homie goofing around. <laughs> Out to the hoods, you know what I'm saying? Do you right? Do you right? I got you. <laughs> trying to find it. What a drink said. Energy drink. If you need a snack for that drink, uh, <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> So finish cutting up the rest of your vegetables and while this is happening you definitely want to have your oil heating up in the pan and you know i had to put the hot rotel in that bad boy so go ahead and add your onion celery carrot and bell pepper to the pan Oh my goodness. Before she would have been a low level hoe if she had an equinox. It's a new business venture. Alrighty, so keep your vegetables in the pan. You're going to cover so that they get to sweat a little bit and caramelize the onions. Once they go translucent, go ahead and add in your spices. Remember that is in the description box below for the total list of ingredients that you need. I almost forgot about my cornbread. Personally, I like it softer than this, but we gonna work with it. It's fine. She's not burnt. She's just a little toasty, okay? A little toasty. Definitely gonna put this back into the cabinet. We do not need her because our little friend, this one, came right through. Thank you for that. <laughs> So as you will see in a later clip, I definitely made the mistake of not checking my cayenne pepper before pouring it into this pot. Lord have mercy. So be careful guys. Check your spices and you'll see the clip to show you just how much I put in there. Next, go ahead and add in your beans and we'll go from there. Okay, so now we're on simmer mode. That's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and clean up. This is perfect timing. I get really impatient um, while waiting sometimes for food, but it's a good time to clean up. So clean your workstation while you wait for your little 30 minute simmer. And y'all, just to give you an idea, this is how much cayenne pepper I pulled out. I pulled out. Okay, so that just helps you understand how much I dumped in there. <laughs> I almost forgot some of the last few ingredients. I was going to add a handful of spinach because like I said, as many vegetables as I can get into this, I will. But we're going to add cut, chopped mushrooms and cilantro and some lime for some acidity. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. Something else that I've learned um, when I have a meal that I really like to cook is to just check the recipes here and there like you may know it but you'll find something new so i found something new this time you do want to be careful of the bay leaf that is in there but you're gonna take about a cup ooh, it looks so good and a half of the mixture and transfer it to a blender like such 
making sure to also get some of the liquid. Now, being that I dumped all that doggone cayenne in here, I'm gonna go a step further to try to save my gut and my mouth. And I'm gonna turn that down some. And what we're gonna do, I'm already gonna add some more vegetables. Um, I really like to take these opportunities to add as much as possible. I'm gonna add some green beans and some corn, but that's gonna go in the pot. So I'm also going to add a whole nother tomato because she's spicy and I'm trying to help myself out. So wash tomato in with a cup and a half and you're gonna blend this. I smelled this and I about died. Y'all that cayenne is so strong. Hopefully I'm okay. I mean, I tasted some spoonfuls and yeah, it's spicy. And I like spicy food. So I think I'll be okay. But remember my diced tomatoes also were hot. The can that I put in. But anyways, we're gonna take that bit that we just blended up and put her back in. And this gives you some natural girth. Now one thing that I didn't do that they mentioned in the recipe was to add vegetable broth. I was going to add, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the bay leaf out now. I was going to add chicken broth but I mean look at it I don't need it I've already got the texture I want it's fine if you want from here you can continue boiling until some of the water comes off um, but I'm pretty content with this consistency I'm gonna add my drained corn and drained green beans and then we'll plate up alrighty there you have it guys this is a really quick and easy nutritious meal that you can make I ate off of this for pretty much the whole week um, between lunches and dinner and I would just switch up what kind of carb I had with it so it was either the tortilla chips or I had it with the cornbread I hope you enjoyed thank you so so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one